Hi. 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 <clears throat> oh, hello. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is good. Let me put a camera. Don't mind the alarm. No. So today's pick card is going to be messages from your future self. The future. I thought that sounded fun. I see a lot of white people do that one. So what does your future self have to say? I don't know. How far into the future? I say literally like a year. That's literally all I keep thinking of. I hate a year. I guess the one year from now, you. What do they want to tell you? Okay. That's what I was thinking. So I'd go with it. But also, <clears throat> I start with these. I feel like these are mean. So I needed three options. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Whenever a card hits me in the face, it always does a serious read. It was like the destiny card. I've been hit in the face by the destiny card like four times. All right. So, <clears throat> option one is. Oof, can you see? Options. I mean, options. Options are required now. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Turn the brightness up. I don't know if it's up. No, it's not. It's I can't even make it look. It's take. I think it's the second picture. <clears throat> it's the book of Halloween. Okay, emotions are running high. Number two, option two. Emotions are running high. Super moon. I like that one. And option three is you are good enough. Full moon and bird. <clears throat> Excuse me, full moon in Virgo. Oh my God. I need to stop smoking before I start filming. Uh, okay. And the question seems to be, what do you need to release? So that goes for everybody. Your future selves wants to wants the want us to ask you to take a look at what you need to let go in your life. Something needs to be let go. Okay. So these are your three options. <clears throat> I'm gonna get shuffling. Shuffling in. And I'll put timestamps. It is under my chair. There's nothing down here. Big cards first. Big juicy, big juicy stuff first. Hmm. Oops. Get the 
crap out of me. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh my god, this band-aid is making my life hell. In my foot slides. Oh my oh, god. So many not happening. No, it's not even comfortable.
Oh, hold on, honeybee. Come on, get in my cozy. Ooh, I like those colors. Look at that. Those we love that blue. Oh, that's blue. Next one. Got those colors in my hand. <clears throat> Oh no. I'm getting fine here. I found it. That's okay. Okay. I want two of everything. I just tell you, I don't know if you're here, but you probably want to send me a stock up. Go to the grocery store. It makes me think of when I went to the grocery store like a year ago. One year ago. Oh, wow, this is funny because one year, year ago, I would have, if I was looking at myself right now and I was told myself, you know, I told myself, buy two of everything because that's exactly what I did at the grocery store. I was like, I'll take two of everything. I had like four carts. I didn't leave the house for months. It was <laughs> dare I say it was amazing. I had all the food I needed and I just you know, whatever. What else can I talk about? I like those carts. But yeah, I'll try to remember that about the two of everything. If I don't, it wasn't meant to be heard. I need to whoever the hell is going to see this part. And I feel bad for you if you do. It's so boring. All you hear is my TV, which is the History Channel right now. I don't even know. I think I just rode truckers. I don't even got a driver's license. I could care less about an ice road trucker. It looks scary and I'm not interested in doing the job if I, even if I could drive. Oh my goodness, can we please? Seriously, it goes up. It's not right if I fucking see it. Okay, what do I want next? My kiddos. I want to see 
Okay, I guess I'll take one of these. Two more. I'm back. I did it. That's fun. Fuck, that was exhausting. These cards are pretty heavy. I'm just very weak. Thank you. Oh, come on. Why are so far? <laughs> I gotta be so rough. I'm not even supposed to tolerate that type of behavior with you. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think I lost the card even. Okay, look. Turned on my computer. I mean, I'll take it since you want to fly out and then I'll conquer you. 
Oh shit, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. What spot did you see? You see the bear? Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see if you can go look. Oh, this is pretty good. Oh, that's true. This isn't vice versa. Isn't the vice versa deck? I was like, I wonder if it's on the other side of that cat. Adjustments are required here for that. Oh, it fits. I'm happy with that. These cards have been through a lot. This deck specifically. There's so much bruises on her. She's got scratches. She's got bruises. And it ain't because I sat around shuffling with them. I sat. It's because we were thinking. I'm seeing things, these cards. I've been through it. So maybe I've been through something. I've been seeing some things. Wow, I think we're done here. Some cards. Okay, let's get some water in me. These are thick. <clears throat> I'm gonna make chapstick. I'll be talking my mouth off for like an hour.
All right. Can you be seen? Not quite, but good enough. Okay. Hi, I'm back. Now, so this is your messages from your future self, like one year from now. Like your, yeah, one year's future self. Here, this is for option one. Adjustments are required. And then option two. Emotions are running. No, it's just they're running strong. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Then the third one is. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. However, I like this one. I like that tree. Makes me think of a tree that, that I was hanging around. I was taking pictures of it. I like that tree. So pick your option. I got a lot of decks. Let's see. Two, four, and three, six, nine. Yeah. Eleven. Goodness. Thirteen decks? We have thirteen decks. Okay. So option one. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. <clears throat> Whenever I put one of these cards and it talks about the third quarter moon, it always like makes me feel like something's like 75% done. You know, like it's three quarters done. So maybe you've been working on something and it's almost done because we got honeydew over here. Okay, so hold up. But, oh, with adjustments we've acquired, saying to keep it simple, but you need to make some adjustments to whatever it is you are from working on. Whatever it is, make some adjustments to it. So you got to shake it up a little. Your treasure is at hand. You know, whatever you're working on, it's going to bring you joy. It's light, so it's like, you know, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. It might be something you do in the nighttime, though. They say keep it simple and honor thyself. So, whatever it is you're trying to stay, you gotta stay. Um, what would I say? <clears throat> stay true to yourself during these, whatever it is you're doing. The unseen. Hmm? I don't know. This curious. When was the last time you looked into a mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime? It matters. Here's looking at you, gorgeous. The universe. P.S. Okay. Hubba hubba counts. So it's like getting another card. You get like three cards. It's cool. Get like three cards. I think it's a G. Hold that. Okay. So it says for keep it simple. Old souls use words spare, very sparingly. Except, of course, for I, love, thank, you, wow, now, and cool. Wow, I love you now. The universe. P.S. Which sounds much better than, wow, now I love you. So, they're saying that you got the heart here. You're lovable. You're very lovable. Sequence is important. So, the order in which you do things for whatever you're doing is important. You got to stay hard at work. You got to be over here. You're very compassionate and forgiving. Seems to be a top priority in every situation. You've been taking your, okay, in your situation, you've been, you've been very compassionate and forgiving. That's been your top priority. And I guess being happy, you have joy over there. We have two of cups in the reverse, followed by the hermit, well, not followed by the hermit, but right next to the hermit. So this could be something about a breakup. Breakup has you stagnant, you know? But then we got, what do you need to release? So maybe you need to release someone that you've broken up with. Unseen. I have a feeling it's someone that you haven't seen in a while. I guess it's just someone you're hung up on. Because we got the two of cups in reverse. Someone that just didn't work out with them. Something about being stubborn. These people look really stubborn. Look at them. They're very stubborn. So... It, there's a separation taking place because then we got justice. Okay. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, so it's saying, you know, you're feeling, you know, 
whatever you've been working on, I ain't feeling too sexy about it. About you. But it makes me think of a separation that you've been working on. I haven't seen this person or dealt with this person. I guess it's had you like in a limbo state, you know? And I hope you can see, I hope you were, I wouldn't look. And you know, and then this one is so cute. The hermit card. They're just walking off a little bewildered and raggedy, you know? That person, this person here, believe it or not, that right there is a wish, you know? It's, it's Aquarius, it's the star, it's the star card in the bottle. And they're following their wish. You know, they're tattered and worn, but that person under there is the Queen of Wands. Look, and underneath it's the Emperor. Okay? So yeah, that person under there is a really, really good person. A really, really sexy person, too. Because, you know, they're gorgeous, magnificent, and sublime, so you haven't been telling yourself that lately. You've been too hard at work. You haven't, like, taken time to, to love you, I guess, you know? But it's saying you're a very old, you're an old soul, and you're gorgeous, and they want you to remember that. Your future self wants you to know this, that you're gorgeous. People don't notice you, but that's fine. You don't need to be noticed right now. You're working, you know? They also want to say that some fantastic good fortune and lucky chances are in the future, are coming within the next year. Oh, and a love charm. You got attracting a love partner underneath. Okay. Wow. So, you got to keep your motivation up. Yeah, it says the motivation to keep up despite the odds. So, it's saying to keep up, keep up uh, the hard work. But there's something you got to shake up a bit. It's like as if you can sell it stagnant. You're stagnant. You feel stagnant. And then we got the moon. You don't know what to do with yourself, I guess. Yeah, and at the back of the hero font. So that's like, you know, like I said, leaving a relationship behind. Wow, that was a lot of talking. I haven't even pulled my cards. Hold up. Okay, so it's saying that you need to stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. So start looking at the positive side instead of the negative. We got the justice again. So it's definitely, you got some type of separation in your recent past somewhere that still bothers you. Platypus. Okay. I like the platypus. And then we got village and the cave. So, yeah. You've been hiding off somewhere. It's saying that maybe you need to get more familiar with your village. You know, stop being in the cave. Go come out of the cave. Okay. Those are the tarot cards. And maybe those after. Oh, because so when you leave your cave, you're going to find something's going to surprise you. You you got some surprises ahead, basically. Once you step out of your comfort zone, I'm guessing the cave is kind of like your comfort zone. So once you step out of that, you're going to find some really surprises, surprising things. Okay, and it says underneath the most ordinary the stones. So it's like, it's, it's going to be just like right under your nose. You're going to find something. What are you going to find? I don't know, but it's something with treasure. Treasure's at hand. Kindness. Okay, you're, you're very kind, and you've been trying to, like, lead with kindness. There was a card over here. He was talking about, I think it was these. No. I'm talking about compassion and priority. Compassion and forgiveness is your priority. So you're very kind. That was tough. And I got the sun. Oh, my God. I'm going to room. the sun so that's why it's more that like with the abracadabra with wings it's saying that whatever you're working on it's going to bring you some fantastic good fortune and lucky chances and in some even love so because love's right behind it so it could be the next thing even so they're saying within this next year you might even be able to find love if that's even what if that's what you're up to we got the heart here so i know you've definitely been loving you okay while you've been hiding away in your cave the unseen People haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, but you're almost done. It's almost done releasing. Safe and happy travels. Protection from harm when journeying. Journeying. My mouth is dry. I need to journey. So it's saying that, you know, you're about to maybe do you're going to take a trip. This person, I mean, not this person, this platypus here. 
It looks like they're swimming like in the water, like in the tropical area. It's so pretty, right? Or maybe you go somewhere like a vacation. This also looks like a beach. Like it's kind of like the horizon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Change can be better than you think. Oh, so we you might be moving within the next year. Your future self might be telling you, get ready. <laughs> you may not be someone who likes to move. If you, live, if you got the cave card. If you're an old soul, you're probably like, I'm fine right here. But it's saying um, safe and happy travels and adaptation. So, you know, you're good at adapting. So get ready to adapt. And then we got the journey card. Come on, the journey card right after. So, yeah, you're definitely going somewhere. It could be just a vacation, though. So calm down. So some of you might just be going on vacation. Some of you might be actually moving. Maybe you guys are moving cities. Because we got the village and the cave, so you're leaving the cave, you're leaving the village, you know, going on a journey. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the key, oh, but it's going to give you answers, it's where you need to go. Wow, we got 30 and 33, the number three might be important. Then you're going to see, okay. So lilies is about being, you know, alone. You might like flowers. If you like flowers, oh, you can't see it. Mm. I just bought some pretty orchids. Can you see them? Barely, whatever. <laughs> I've always wanted to buy one. And I finally fucking did it. I was like, you know, fuck that. I'm buying it. So maybe you need to say fuck that to something and just buy it. <laughs> That's what I said. You know, I always, like, like, legit, since we got on the topic, I've been looking at one of these plants every fucking year, or every twice a year. They're always at the grocery store. And I'm always like, I want one. And I never get one. And I was like always low key hoping I always drop clues, like drop bombs on people. I need to know what to get me for birthday, Christmas, anything. Get me that plant one day. No, never. So today? And well, not today, yesterday. Yesterday was the day me and that plant got together. So. You need to pull the trigger. Something about an answer. You're waiting on an answer for something. Answers are coming to you. You're going to get a lot of clarity this, this next year. So maybe you've been really, really, really questioning and doubting things. Right? Eight of Pinnacles. About what you've been working on, you know? And you've been working really hard on it by yourself. Very isolated. Very cold. Very private, I want to say. And it's... Some answers are going to come from it soon. Well, I don't know about soon. I want to say soon, but it could be really within the next year. I mean, on the grand scheme of things, it's kind of soon. Okay. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune. Or some other one. Something. Ooh, maybe you win the lottery. That would be so freaky. <gasps> yeah, you know, I would love it if you won the lottery. If you win the lottery, well, it's something you were working on. Okay, well, something you were working on is going to pay off really big, I feel like. And it's going to be, like, super-duper great. It's going to be like winning the lottery. It's going to bring in a lot of joy. Okay, you might be an unseen person. It, it keeps making me say, you know, like, I feel like you like to stay unseen. And it might be something that makes you, gives you a lot of abundance, that, and you get to remain unseen. Either that or... You're not going to get to stay unseen, but either way, it's going to, it's almost like I see you take a trip, you go on vacation. It's, you know, like, that's interesting. My goodness. You get the king of pentacles. You see, like nice, solid financial stability. This is you. That's what you're going to feel the next year. The wheel's turning in your favor and it's turning. Yeah, look, oh, it's like this one. I never remember the 20 one. Like destiny, that's so 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 cool. Great many stars. I love that cat and the stars. It's so cute. But that other cat's like noticing it. So it's like you're unseen. Oh God, you're unseen, but you're about to be noticed. I don't know why or what your work, whatever. But I think you get to still remain private. But you're still. But you're. You know. Then we got the Seven of Cups. 
this is the upside down version. So it's kind of like, there's no more mystery about your options. You've gone through all your options. You go through all your options and all the fog, so to speak, because this is really foggy. All of it gets cleared up. And look at all those coins, okay? All the abundance, all the great stuff, okay? All the great stuff that could be coming to you. All because you make up your mind about something. That's what it is. It's about making a decision. Seven of Cups is having like, you know, it's almost about, it's about love, like a, like a love decision, something that gives you emotional fulfillment. You make a decision on it and it gives you money. It brings you money, it brings you abundance. If it's a person, because I don't really know if it's a person, they don't have anything about it being a person other than, like I said, I feel like this heart is just about you loving you. You know, me and Leslie, okay? I feel like you've been maybe trapped in a tower, trapped up in your cave. Maybe you put there on yourself, or maybe someone else put you there. You know, but it's time for you. You want to lift your anchor and let your boat go. That's just, this makes me think it's literally like going to the beach and going on vacation. You know, sitting on the beach. I love sitting on the beach. It's always so breezy. But yeah, something that you love that you've been working on by yourself. It's like a, a wish fulfillment, a dream. Your treasure, maybe this. So it's sure you can always find prettier, handsomer, prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, zippier, younger. But more often than not, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the widest with those they've already found, especially when they stop looking elsewhere. Actually, zippier is on quite a few lists. <laughs> so zippier is on quite a few lists. So something tells me. You're going to find someone. You will find someone that you do like. Someone that's going to grab your attention. Someone that you're going to want to love. Someone that, you know, you're going to find a love interest. How many? Not, not a whole lot of y'all. Because it's just barely there here off from the very side. I guess it's something you guys are going to have. To, it's the ones that are looking for it. When you're looking for your treasure, you know. If you're looking for that type of treasure, then I feel like you're going to find it. Just because it's saying that. You need to stop looking elsewhere. That, If that is the case, this person is most likely already in your life and you don't see them. You're too busy trying to, you know, be the king of pentacles and have everything, your, you know, have your everything come together and, and bring you your abundance, all your hard work. You want it to come to fruition, okay? But the ones, you, so you might not be noticing them now, but it'll be someone... Yeah, you don't notice any of the fox here. You know, but they're very zippy, maybe. But point is about the zippy is they're saying that they're a desirable person. So you might know of this person. You might know who this person. You're going to think they're very gorgeous, magnificent, and sublime. I guess once you finally notice them or find them or meet them, some of you are already going to know them. Because it's saying it's, it's at hand. It's here. You have that. Stop looking elsewhere. That's so cute. Stop working elsewhere, especially this is because actually Zipier is quite on a few lists. So you it could it could there you go. That's what I'm trying to point it. It could turn into a missed opportunity. You could have regret because this person seems to be we have we have the seven of cups. This person seems to be so and it's right underneath that. So yeah, the person that you're gonna think is that all that in a bag of chips, they're gonna have a whole lot of options because they probably are gonna be all that in a bag of chips. You know? So what is it you need to release? I guess negativity. You know? Okay. That's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed. You got a lot of fun stuff coming towards you. Okay. Like something about staying up all night. Or I guess we'll, we'll, what you were working on. It kept you up all night long. Because this is like, like, I mean, it could be a sunset, but it always makes me think of a sunrise. You know? So you might have worked on it from sunset to sunrise. Okay, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed option one. Now I'm on to option two. Okay, option two. Emotions are running high. Super moon. So yeah, something tells me you've been stressed out lately. Emotions are running high. 
just thought about some type of something with some type of relationship that didn't pan out. It's got your emotions in a flutter. You stay home a lot. No one sees you. I guess your neighbors don't see you. Neighbors haven't been seeing you. But your future self is here to say, listen, you got fantastic good luck and fortune coming ahead of you. Okay, fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. Okay, you need to, something about looking, looking to the space between the trees for answers. So it's saying to maybe go out and get some meditation and grounding so that you're not so emotional. And you need to shake up your life a bit. You need to go out and go do some things. Springy, spring things, spring into action. You need to put something into action. Okay, it's time to let something else go and do something new. Um, stop being so hard on yourself. Forgive yourself more. Stop blaming yourself for whatever happened in a specific situation. Oh my God, you're you're bossy. <laughs> okay, I mean that's basically what it's saying. And I think it's also saying get out the house and find some love. Stop being so shady. Nectar. Okay. Something is at hand. You're about to... It's, <laughs> it's so close. I can taste it. It's like literally what just went off in my head. I think that's from SpongeBob. Okay, so something is so close. Something sweet. Something really sweet that you really, really, really want. Sweet like honey. Honey sweet. You got the work. You got the bee over here. You've been working really hard on, on something really, really sweet. I want to say, oh my God, it's so sexual. So you got some, if, you, if you've been wondering what's coming up this, within this year, you're going to get some sex. Letting go, releasing and letting go, though, I guess. Not until you let something go, though. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. Okay. So. Accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. So it's saying to be more go with the flow. You also might want to start eating more salads. Not because it's a, yes, because it's a manatee, but because manatees, I used to go to the, okay. I was in Miami, so I used to go to this aquarium, and they used to always have huge heads of lettuce in the sea cow, the uh, the manatee, in the manatee tanks, and I and I used to be like, wow, would they really eat a whole head of lettuce? So this is at the zoo. I love the zoo. So, anyways, and one day I actually watched one eat eat a whole one, and I got to see its teeth. He was Oh my God. Anyways, point is, they always make me think of salads. So maybe you need to start eating some more salad. <laughs> I always find that fun. But yeah, you need to be more accepting of whatever's going on in your situation. Like just accept, accept what happened and let it go. It says allow the, wi the, 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 allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. So... This made you a little bitter. You might be a little bitter about something. Sting, we got bees. So you've either stung someone or someone stung you. We got wings too. I think it's bees. Okay. Those you love, love you. So, if the, okay. So whoever this person was, I have a feeling they didn't love you. They might have loved you. Someone loved you. Okay. If they loved you, it wouldn't have hurt. Yes, love hurts sometimes. But it's different. Like there's like that three. What is that? That three, mm, three, three something rule. You give someone three tries, and if you piss them off three times, you see how how they acted each time, and it gives you like a general perspective of whether or not they're worth they're worth the effort of letting them in your life. So it's like if they were super breezy while they were mad all three times, you know that that person's chill. But if they were like crazy. Every time you're like, well, you're always gonna get like this if something happens. Sorry, you guys missed the bed. Okay, I'm not. Okay. Let me talk about that. Ugh. 
Your treasure is at hand. So, okay. To be beautiful in the eyes of another. Simply forget they're watching. So, this person. I don't need you. I don't know. Something about making you feel uncomfortable like you were being watched. But. They scrutinized. It's okay. So, I don't want to talk about that. Why does your future self want to talk about that? I want to talk about that. Well, apparently you need to hear it. That that person was not very nice to you, and they scrutinized you. It took out your joy. It snuffed out your light. No, your feet, that's true. You're the sassy one. I hate this. I put my sassy pants on. Hold on. I have them. I own a pair. Okay? They're saying that this person just straight up didn't love you. I'm just going to have to talk to you straight up. So that person didn't love you, and you're very beautiful. And in the eyes of another, so... Within this next year, you might end up finding some love. Okay, like I said, you're you going to get some. Those colors, they're so vibrant and pretty. And they, I just love those colors. And these kind of match it. So it's saying, you know, remember that you're beautiful. Maybe people don't see you. You got the unseen over here. Ooh, I'm starting to get hungry. I could go for a salad now. I don't like, I don't eat salad. Maybe I should eat more salad. Idle hours. Take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. Okay. Someone just told me the other day in the comments. I don't know. Can't remember your name. Sorry. They, they told me that May is, what is it May? May's birthstone is emerald. So what would that be? May would be Gemini. I don't know, whatever, birthstones, emerald, it might be yours, and the story. <laughs> well, they said it was Taurus, so they said it's Taurus, but I know the months, they got splits in them, so it's like, whatever cusps with Taurus, so that's why I said Gemini. Gemini is on the other side. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay, so yeah, you might be a Gemini or a Taurus. There you go. I'm trying to figure out which month it's May. I don't pay attention to I mean, I do astrology, but I don't do it. I just know some of it. So anyways, excuse me. They said you got to break some bad habits. You have some bad habits maybe that you are working towards. So keep working on breaking bad habits. And you start accepting yourself more. Um... It'll help you have stronger mental health, and it'll also help you let go of things. Letting go. You got to let something go. Something's got to be let go. And your emotions are very high about it. So the thing to ground yourself. Wife. Um, maybe you're leaving your wife, or your wife left you, or you're letting go a wife or a spouse. Okay. Letting go of a spouse. Oh, someone that you saw as a soulmate. Okay. Why are we talking about what you up to? I think it's trying to say that. The answers are here for those who look. Letting go of that. Interesting. I guess you let go of the idea. Did you let go of the idea? Okay. It makes me think that you had it. So we had a breakup here with someone. I don't think you were married to them. You could have been. You could have very well been married to them and you separated from them straight up because then we got the hermit. You went into self, uh, self-reflection self mode. But they say when you finish your self-reflection mode, it's going to be, you're going to come out the emperor. You're coming out on top. Okay? So... Things are going to get a little confusing for you. You're not going to really know what the hell's going on with yourself, what you're doing, what you want to do. I was just saying, it's fine. But you're either letting go of this or the idea of it. So see what we got here? It's like, you know. Ah, oh my God, I'm coming. It's wife, soulmate, and happy like family. Ten of cups, you know. Ten of Pentacles combined right here. So, and this is like soulmates and stuff, but burns out quick. It's Knight of Wands. So maybe that's why I say someone you saw yourself marrying. Okay, but then it burnt out quick. 
So maybe you gave up on the idea and that's who this person is you left from, or it really was someone you married. Maybe like when it was too quick, y'all, you know, the, the bread is stars, right? The, no, something about the brightest stars burn, burn out the fastest. I don't know, but yeah, love's in the future. Okay. Some about something about looking raggedy. So they're saying to clean yourself up. You've been looking raggedy. Maybe you let your hair grow out. Okay. They say it's time to 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 clean up and stop looking raggedy. So maybe you've been looking raggedy. Oh, the man is—he looks so cozy. He looks like he's taking a nice bath. So maybe you want to take a bath, or at least go swimming somewhere. Maybe go to the beach, or um, go into a pool. He looks like he's swimming in those pools. You eat some salad. So what's the what's coming for you? You're taking some time out. You know, something about the grass is greener on the other side. So, or the grass isn't greener on the other side. Maybe they left you, whoever it is, but they left you for somebody. But, and eventually you're going to come to terms with it and you're going to let it go. Because you're going to, it's, it's going to bother you, I guess. Something's going to bother you until you get answers. Okay. What's coming for you? <clears throat> this love's coming for you. Maybe the, the fact that you gave up on this idea. It doesn't matter. It's saying that I think, because like I said, I think it's saying that there is someone around you that does love you and watch you. Because it says that you're too beautiful in the eyes of another, straight up. Someone sees you. You're not unseen to somebody. Oh, you're like a wish come true, like a, you know, look at the prayer and then the prayer hands. Okay, so it's like, it's someone that, someone that they, 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 they pray for. Some, you, you know, you've probably been doing a lot of praying too, but still, these are all the same colors too. These cards, look at them. So someone is watching you. Someone sees you. Okay. And they, they got their eye on you. It says that they're watching. I'll show you, see? And it, in the back, the clues, it says, those you love, love you. So it's someone that you like, too. Someone that you love, too. Okay, so that's coming, or it's already here. You know? But stop trying to fight with whoever it is from your past. You have to let all that go. Oh, that's what it is. Because we got fantastic, good fortune, and lucky chances. But only if you... Forgive and let it go. That's the only time, I guess it's the only way you're going to notice it and see it. But your emotions, your emotions are getting in the way of things for you right now. You need to calm down, I guess. You need to just chill out. Your treasure is at hand. This is all I got left for you. No, we still got some tarot. Sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zippier. But more often than not, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the widest with those they've already found, especially when they stop looking elsewhere. Actually, zippier is on quite a few lists. Tally ho, the universe. The love in spite of it all. So, yeah, maybe, okay, maybe you've had a past relationship, too, that made you completely shut off the... You don't even want to even do that. You don't want a spouse. You don't want to, you don't care about soulmates. You don't care about having families and relationships like that. You're just trying to have fun maybe since then. And you've been working and just having fun. Work and joy. They're like the same colors too. So you might have been just doing that and enjoying the, the, the sweet things in life. You know, maybe you've picked up a few bad habits. So it's saying that uh, that, that could be what comes up next to you too. You just do some work, joy, and but it all comes with releasing. You gotta release whatever the hell's holding you back. Okay, nine of wands. Where did I see the nine of wands? Right here, the fox. Oh, oh and then the moon. Okay, and this. Look, so it's like cutting out a bad relationship. There was a lot of mystery, something. They were very shisty to you, like shady very shady 
And it was because something shady was going down. It wasn't because of anything else. Okay. This girl's inviting. So this is the nine of wands. So someone shady was trying to, I guess, trying to trick you. You didn't fall for it, I guess. I guess that's what it is. So if you haven't been in a relationship where someone had tried to, like, you know, look where everything's coming around, that's coming for you. Because we got it in the past here. But, yeah, someone. Well, then there's someone coming. They said, oh, maybe you had two options and you didn't know which to choose. I don't know if you choose it. You, there's a, you know, one you don't really know about and then there's one that's just, like, real open. Either way, we're not there yet. Running away, running off, packing up. So you might, okay. <laughs> the King of Swords and the King of Wands. Okay. So he's got all of them. Okay, so in the next year, your future self is saying that you're beat up from whatever you went through, and it's got you kind of messed up and probably not even, like, liking or wanting love. That's fine. But then there's someone that's going to come around, and it's, they're going to be very open and inviting and welcoming and nice, and they're going to be just perfect. They're going to be whatever your heart desires, so to speak. And But you're going to be beat up. <laughs> Something with the wrap, that wrap around the head is like when you get banged in the head, there's like some amnesia. So you, it's it might be someone that you knew but didn't know. Like it, 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 it might be someone like on the sidelines of your life that just kind of, come. that might be who's watching. This is cool. We have the house here. It also popped up here after a, a breakup. So a split. So maybe you move, you move, you, you split with someone. If you're dating someone, I hate this. I don't want to say that you're dating someone and y'all going to break up. That's not what I'm trying to say. The breakup has already happened. And if it hasn't happened, oh, okay. But anyways, there's a split, two houses. People split and there's two separate houses. So people, so maybe someone you were living with, you left them. But it caused a whole lot of uncertainty. And it kind of gave you, you know, but, um, like it, it gave you like a suspiciousness to dating. So the nine of wands, and then we got the seven of swords. Sneaking, sneaky, sneakiness. Okay, so it's above the soulmate card here too. So fighting, finding treasure. You don't see your treasure. Treasure, it's not actually a treasure, it's a skull, but it's surrounded by tons of gold coins. So he's picking up his swords, he's grabbing what he can, you know, and he's leaving the other two behind. So he's taking only what he needs. So the split, you left, you took only what you needed. You're, take, you're going to take only what you need. And, yeah, you're going to, you're going to be very uh, closed off to this person when they come to you. You're going to be very like the king of swords because of your history, because of that band-aid on your head. <laughs> okay. Holding on to your wand. Okay. And you're going to treat them very light and airy. And you might go on a picnic with this person. They're cute. But um, they, uh, something with a baby bird. Maybe something with a baby bird at a park with lots of butterflies and whatever. But the king of wands is underneath. So I feel like whoever it is that you do meet, okay? It's above the wife card, so it's probably could be someone that you end up marrying. You're going to be very stingy with them. Like I said, king of swords. Your future self is telling you to 
not do that to be like the manatee if you want to change if you want to change your life that's what i want to say if you want it so maybe you're maybe you're ready to change your make a change and change your life because we got breaking bad habits maybe you've been looking for answers on how to change your life and how can i change my life really so it's saying if you want to change your life you have to change the patterns that you do so stop being stingy with this person because they're likely a soulmate you know they're going to be a partner. They're going to be someone that you can work with, like a spouse. Or, you know, this together is not just someone you're married to because you think they're hot <laughs> or someone you're married to because they got money or someone you're married to because you guys, I don't know, it, it, it works. I don't know, y'all have children. Whatever the reasons other people get married other than, or just because y'all are crazy in love, you know, but it's saying that this type of marriage is actually one that's made to go together. So not so one one. It's eleven eleven. So you being you're gonna be stingy to them, but it's gonna be because you see how ugly this card is. It's got a whip on it. So it's kinda like the past relationship, like like I said, you see his head? It wounded him. It fucked his head up. It fucked your head up. You know what? It hurt you. Okay. Your top priority right now should be compassion and forgiveness. Because you have a treasure at hand and they're watching you. They love you. And you guys, I think it's just a really good soulmate person. So it's saying that you're trying to really control the situation and be very, like, not rude. This is a very nice, like, relaxing king of swords. Like, you're being very nonchalant, okay? Taking it breezy, taking it easy, you know, like. I'm breezy, I'm chilling, I'm just hanging out, I'm not, you know, very light and airy, and it's like, you know what I mean, because I think that eventually, you, I think you realize that the minute you see this person, that they're like love at first sight for you, like, you, you do see it in them when you meet them, so it's like, you don't really want to mess it up, because you kind of want, oh, I see it with the baby bird here, too. Okay, we got a baby owl. That's literally, I'm pretty sure that's an owl. Right there in the corner. You see him? Right here. It's a little owl. And it's a baby. So it's like, it's kind of like you can see Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You can see all that. But it's a lot of work. But you, you're going to see them. You're going to have them in the palm of your hand. Because they're going to make you feel like the King of Wands. You know, they're going to make you feel on top of the world. They're going to make you feel super... They're going to make you feel sexy. Like their last relationship, you know, because you've probably always been the king of wands, the queen of wands, you know what I mean? The, the shit, you know what I mean? But the last relationship might have had you in the reversal, which is kind of like looking all shicey, tapping into dragon energy, you know. Got some girl partying back there, you know, some maybe some sneaking around and cheating, who knows? But this king of wands is different. He knows what he's doing. His dragon's uh, around his neck. You know, he's not being ruled by his by his desires, I guess. You know? So that's you. This person's going to give you that, make you feel that. And it's, I think that's once, once you accept the situation and stop trying to fight it, these types of things can come in for you. And that's what it's saying. You need to release. Okay. That was pretty long. I hope you enjoyed. It wasn't too long. Because, yes, it says right here, the flower, the nectar is at hand. I love this card. Got it. Okay. It's so close you can touch it. Like <laughs> It's so close. That's what I wanted to say. It's so close I can almost. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye. Okay. Option three. You are enough. No, you are good enough. New moon? Full moon. <laughs> Sorry, my memory. I'm just seeing these things. Yes, my alarms are still going off. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Okay. I love it. I can't stop thinking about the flowers in her hair. Okay, I went to the grocery store and they had a lot of flowers yesterday. A lot of flowers yesterday. So what do we got? 
Okay, so what does your future self want to tell you? Don't be misled. You got some type of decision at hand, okay? But it's saying that don't be misled, okay? Search for your answers. It says use your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem and get answers to your question, okay? When fear speaks, it's always wrong unless being chased by wildebeest. And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. <laughs> Game on. So, game on, that makes me think of a competition, secretly competing, because it's under the unseen card, and you're good enough, secretly competing, okay, so you're secretly competing, you're going to be secretly competing for something, it, the chimp, the chimpanzee, something about chimpanzees, okay, you're going to be secretly con competing for something, whether you are intentionally secretly competing for something or you unknowingly are competing for something there's something that you're competing for i don't know if you know it or not if you don't it's totally in the background it's like some you know universal type stuff but okay and it's saying that just keep going with the flow you're very smart and intuitive and it usually solves all your problems you're good enough so if you're, you, you, apparent, there's something with competition and it's saying that you're good enough. Something you love and it scares you. You're scared to do something, but you're, in, I want to say you're in love okay? because we got this, but no, it might not be that you're in love. Some of you, yes. They're saying, don't be mis, don't mislead your heart though. That's confusing. Imagination. So, I want to see you use your imagination more. Maybe drawing or writing, like actually writing with a pen. Okay, so what else we got for you? What else is happening for you? The mask. So, it's saying, yeah, you got a lot of imagination in you. You don't show anybody it, you hide it away, you snuff it away. It must, I don't know, you're shy. You like to be unseen. You need to let that go. They're saying you need to let go of being shy. It's going to give you a whole lot of joy to just let it go. It's saying you're very bouncy and full of like light. Okay, so go out there and fly. Literally, we got wings and we got bees and we got, yeah. It's saying you're good enough. So whatever it is you wanted to compete in, you're good enough to compete in it. You could be unknowingly competing in it, but it's saying to stop hiding away. You're a fantastic, colorful person, and you need to let the colors out. You're very, uh, I saw the treasure is at hand, so it's saying that you don't need to look anywhere else, I guess, but within, within you. The Five of Swords. Mm, lots of fighting. Mm, sorry, I'm burping. Oh, 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 with the, with the, with the, what is this? The Temperance card. So pretty. Something with your imagination gets it runs away with you. You like to monkey around. Like this literally is like you, you don't really kind of just mess around. It's saying you need to stop messing around and balance yourself out. Something that you're fighting, it's in the reverse. You see it's something that you've been fighting against. You need to let it go and dump the fish. Dump the fish. Are you dumping a fish out? You're not like um, releasing it. Yeah, what do you need to release? You got to release whatever you got bottled up inside of you. You got something inside of you. You need to release it. But it's, 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 um, it's 
a very peaceful card, so it's a good thing. Oh, and you need to release it to get new love. We got new love coming in because we got the two of cups over here. Something didn't work out. We have a ten of cups, but it's the back end of it. So this next love offer that this person, this, this love offer that you receive, it's going to be from a very bouncy, colorful person. They're going to love flowers because we got flowers in that lady pair, flowers in that lady pair, flowers in that lady's hair, and the bee pollinating. Oh, okay. So maybe you're going to be uh, bumbling around and maybe you're going to have a lot of options. You're going to be getting around town, shaking things up a bit. Okay. Maybe you're... Or maybe that's that's either what you're usually doing and it's saying to knock it off and get more stable. Or it's saying that that's what you're going to be up to. But there's going to be a love offer involved somehow. And it's going to feel like the Ten of Cups. Look at that. That's her in the picture. Oh, my God. Don't mind my Avengers band-aid. Okay. You see it? She's right there. Same, same statue. So it's like, my God, the, the, I want to say the girl because it's a woman there, but the person of your dreams is going to just appear. Something after you stop fighting it and release it and you let it be free. Oh my, that makes me think that you're in love with somebody and you don't know. Okay. So yeah, you're going to maybe fall in love with somebody and your imagination is going to get the best of you. You're going to think that they're fake and things like this is going to stress you out. You know, they're going to be real fun and flirty and bouncy, like I said, and they're going to literally be the girl of your dreams, boy of your dreams, the 10 of cups, the, the, the all-star. Oh my God, they're just fantastic. I can't believe I finally found you. Look at the rainbow, right? You know? This one's even got the rainbow in the reflection. So you guys might be mirroring each other's energies too. Whoever it is that you meet, you meet someone really. Yeah, it, when you meet them, it, it's, it drives you. It's something about it's going to trigger insecurities with you. It's going to make you want to run, not run away from this person, but it's going to make you like take take steps back all the time. Yeah, you know, like it's gonna really put you in like a hermity state on and off, like a triggering, you know, and you're gonna you're used to being this, you're used to being, you know, the top the emperor slash empress, you know, you're used to being the boss of all bosses, you know. But this person's gonna, you know, make you kind of self reflect bring it back. Okay. It's gonna be like nothing you've ever dated before or met before. The girl the girl or the boy is going to be Nothing like anything you've ever had in the past. This is like the past. It's like disappointments and things like this. This person's going to be everything that you've ever wanted. It's going to be like, it's going to be a good mix. They're going to be able to mix their cups together. So this person might have a lot of emotions that you meet. See, because that's basically you dumping out and releasing the control of the issue. Like of the person, this person's going to bring you so much joy and light and you're just going to love it. They're going to shake up your, they're going to come in and shake things up. You know, you're going to start experiencing good luck too, good chances and good luck and good fortune. You know, and, oh, things are going to start happening and love charm too. It's going to be because you find someone that you love. You're going to fall in love. Okay. And it's going to freak you out because it's not going to be like, like anyone else you've ever dated. It's going to put you, like, you're going to think that they're hiding things from you, but they're not. You're going to end up releasing the situation. There's going to be so much confusion revolved around it. Yeah, you're going to just let it go. And I think you, you're just going to, um, what would I say? You go with the flow, you know? And that's, and you are good enough. So maybe you're going to have self-doubt issues. You're not going to think you're good enough, maybe, for this person. I mean, it's like I said, look, you're going to think you're just everything you've ever dreamed of, everything you've ever thought that could fill you emotionally. That's who they're going to be. And I, I guess be, with imagination and me telling you that you mask, 
there's going to be like an illusion to it. So maybe there's no, you guys don't see each other. I'm seeing, yeah, you guys aren't seeing each other in the physic, physicality. Okay. So crossroads, making a decision, you know, um, like an important thing, an event in your life happening. Yeah, something important is going to happen. It's going to, you know, bring you to a crossroads type of thing. And you're going to have to maybe make a decision between something. A situation that you're in, a job, a relationship, um, maybe even just a situationship. But this person's, it's, it's going to be like this ten. So it's, uh, it's going to give you balance once you cut free and you release that person. That's underneath release. So... You're going to meet them. I think you're going to fall head over heels over them. You're going to see that they're just, you're going to see that people are going to want to offer them a lot of things. Like they're, they're, This person's going to be very good looking most likely because that girl's very good looking. And that's what's going to probably give you the insecurities. Oh, that they're going to be a friend that's coming underneath the, the Ace of Cups. So it's like a friend that's going to, oh, a friend turned romance. That is kind of cute. Oh, but they, it ain't happening unless you let go of control, a past relationship, something. Certain type of energy, like a certain type of vibe. Look at this energy. This energy is terrible. You know? Got some shisty stuff. And it has to do with maybe like breakups and splitting and something with the house, you know? You see? And then you even got it here where it's actually uh, so you got this the scythe and the house and then this is the actual scythe with the house in the back so it's all about breakups okay cutting a cutting you got to make a decision you're gonna have to make a decision to cut a friend out of your life maybe too during this pat this next year you're gonna have it's gonna maybe oh well if it's near the love stuff it's making me think that it's a friend, this is, she's, look, she's actually giving an offer. So the friend might be the one that comes and offers to you instead of you offering to them. When it's going to come after you've done a breakup, after you've had a breakup or while you're in the middle of a breakup or about to be in a breakup. Like you let that person go and then bam, in comes this next person. It's kind of like it's a friend. Your treasure is at hand, okay? Let's not forget it. It says that, Sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zippier, but more often than not, one learns, one learns, and we just got the learn card too, okay? One learns, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the widest with those who, with those they've already found, especially when they stop looking elsewhere. So, They're gonna, they're gonna stop you. That's why I said they're gonna stop you in your tracks. They're gonna be someone. They're gonna be like someone you've never dated before. And you might, some of you might have to choose between them or a friend. I'm not sure why, because this, this, you know. So, but it's saying that love, in spite of it all. What's the front of this card? Oh, is it actually straight up says love, in spite of it all. So it's saying like. You know, whatever, whatever you do, make sure you do it with love. Take a lesson from the owls, deeply observe the night, and you'll become a little wiser in the day. So you like to sit back and watch. So it's going to say you're going to have to, you're going to want to sit back and watch. I guess this whole person's going to make you do that. Earth, you might be an earth sign, but we got grounding. So this person might ground you. Ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, strength, and times of chaos. So that's what, well, during this time, you're going to maybe be praying. Because under here, we got the prayer card. So you might be praying for some answers. You know, you don't know what to do, what to do, you know, what to choose. And then you're like, forget it, I'm just letting it go. I'm just letting it go, letting it release. And then, bam, everything clears up for you. It's like the clouds part. And here comes, you know... <laughs> The, the 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 song the girl of my dreams yeah something like that comes sliding up in there but it, obviously I say girl because that's the song and also because that's the statue and that's the girl but it could be a dude too 
there's a realization. The answer is here. Take heed. Something about answers it says to look to the space between the trees for answers as well. So keep your head up because you're going to miss an opportunity that's good fortune and it's it's a lucky chance and it's it's about love with a love charm. Attract a soulmate, attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner. So there's going to be some type of realization once you grounded yourself because right now I guess you're you're kind of like this so once you go through and you start grounding yourself you're going to come to a realization about someone I want to say someone a friend you know tell me again there's a song tell me again can we be lovers and friends who sings that Lil John and Usher okay clearing make room so it's not going to, that's not going to ever happen if you don't clear and make room. Tread softly as not to disturb the woodland forest. Caution. So it's saying that, ah, uh, to avoid caution, I guess, the quicker you can let things go is the quicker you're going to. Sorry. Oh, no. My iPad cut off. I don't know why. I'll have to combine these two. That's fantastic. So anyways, I was just about to be done with my last card. So anyways, it's saying that, yeah, it's saying that you can't come at this situation like a monkey, you know? You have to believe that you're good enough in order to get it, this Ten of Cups. You can't just play around. You're going to have to approach it with caution. Something I guess you're not used to doing. But is there anything else? No, I believe that's it. Intuition. Yeah, so it says just keep following your intuition and don't ever hesitate. Don't not, not hesitate. No, don't be hesitation and then don't let hesitation get in your way that's for sure it's saying be cautious but don't be overly cautious okay and what's coming it looks like some type of romance is coming your way after like some bad not bad romance but disappointing romance this person's gonna shake things up for you it's coming within the next year. What else is happening in the next year? That's about it. You're going to maybe pick up some, learning some things. You're going to be staying home a lot and learning some things. Yeah. And like I said, working. Yeah. And that's all I got for you. Option three. It's saying to remember also, yeah, you're good enough. So all of these colors are how good you are. So it's saying stop hiding it like that. You know, let everyone see all your pretty colors. Okay, you have a great imagination apparently too. So you should maybe tap more into your imagination. And that'll maybe help you see things and stop being so unseen. You you know, you seem to not see things. But something eventually is going to catch your attention and then things are going to (laughs) happen. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. (laughs) Excuse me. Bye. Sorry that the video cut. Something happened with my iPad. I like a drop down and then it cut. It doesn't matter. Hi.